The Minority Game, sharing limited resources in a competitive world. Research sponsored by the NSF for the 2015 Amalthea REU program. The world is a game in which we compete for resources. Consider animals battling for territorial rights, buyers and sellers vying for best values in the stock market, and drivers on their morning commute, competing for the least congested roads during rush hour traffic. Non-living entities compete for resources too, like computer processes for CPUs and memory. We can research ways to allocate limited resources in the most efficient way possible. A model called the Minority Game has gained traction in helping us better understand the dynamics of competitive behavior. This model tracks the population of agents who repeatedly decide whether to pursue a limited resource based on past behavior of the population. Because agents are rewarded when their decision is in the minority, they learn which decision-making strategies help them succeed. Over time, this leads to more efficient resource use. Our project has several aims. First, to implement a standard minority game in Java. Second, to extend the game to use multiple resources. And third, to assign agents neighbors with whom they might share information on networks. We studied how varying game parameters affect system behavior. In our research with multiple resources, we investigated agents' use of strategies by looking at usage of resources of varying capacity. We found that when agents reference one of their strategies to make each resource decision, it is difficult to obtain every resource. However, when different strategies may be used, they have a much higher chance of success. This is important when agents need simultaneous resource access, such as when processes and distributed systems compete for CPUs, RAM, and channels. We also investigated the effect of adding weights, so that agents might prioritize resources. In this example, we see that by adding differing weights, we minimize the effect of low resource capacity on attendance behavior. Smart buildings might use weights to prioritize the use of renewable energy to light up their rooms. In researching complex networks, we examined a variation of the minority game called the evolutionary minority game that allows agents to alter strategies when they are not effective in helping them win. Using a library that creates network topologies, such as small world, scale-free, and random networks, we connected agents who communicate with their most successful neighbors to better their own strategy. To measure how networks influence agent behavior, we can examine strategy distribution. In studies of the standard evolutionary minority game, agents slowly gravitate to polar strategies over time. Consistent with other research in this area, this process is found to occur at a faster rate in network scenarios. In the future, it would be fascinating to see if network connections could be manipulated to influence the outcome of the game. We expect this to have far-reaching applications, especially in marketing and advertising. Because if the world is a game, we can certainly develop strategies to win it.